This is Deshanta B, and I'm here to share with you an easy, beginner-friendly, crock-pot smothered turkey wings and tips recipe. You know what time it is. Let's get to the ingredients and stop playing. Are you ready? Let's go. For this recipe guys, you will need some turkey, wings, and turkey tips. Guys, this is the third time that I am filming this part, so I'm a little ahead in the recipe as far as the cleaning of the turkey wings, so I just took them out so that I could show you what they look like. So you will need some turkey wings. And turkey tips. If you like, you can use the entire turkey wing completely attached together, but for this recipe, I will be using the turkey wing separated and the turkey tip. You will need some white vinegar onion and garlic powder, black pepper, meat tenderizer. You can use seasoned or non-seasoned, butter, dried or fresh thyme, two packages of chicken or turkey or brown gravy mix. Worcestershire sauce. Turkey seasoning. Guys, this is a seasonal seasoning that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. So if you cannot find it, please feel free to use whatever all-purpose seasoning, soul food seasoning, lorry seasoning, adobo seasoning that you have in your pantry. Pick Sweet Farms seasoning blend. This is a mixture of peppers and onions and celery. If you like, you can cut or chop up fresh veggies for this recipe. You will also need a large bowl, a medium-sized pot, a colander, and your crock pot. Okay, let's go. I have already started the cleaning process of the turkey wings. I sim simply used a big bowl, placed the turkey wings into the bowl, covered them with cool or cold water, followed by the white vinegar. I'm going to continue allowing these to soak for 20 to 30 minutes, then I will be back. These turkey wings and tips have been soaking for about 25 minutes. I am now going to drain off the dirty water, place the turkey wings and tips into a colander, rinse them several times in cool or cold water, pat them dry with paper towels, and place them back into a clean bowl. Your turkey wings and tips will not taste like vinegar. Once they are patted dry and placed back into the bowl, we will then begin to season them. Let's go. One last note guys, please make sure when you have finished cleaning your turkey wings and tips or any raw meat, please make sure to sanitize whatever area 
or workstation that you had the raw meat in. Moving on. Before we season the clean turkey wings and tips, I have preheated my crock pot on a high setting for five hours. Before I season these turkey wings, one thing I would like to say, if you are a beginner cook and you are not comfortable with how much seasoning to use, I would start with one to two teaspoons of each seasoning. Turkey meat is very bland. When it's added to the crock pot, some of the seasonings will dissipate. You can always add, but you can't take away. So if your turkey isn't seasoned enough for you, you can always add more seasoning later on. Let's go. As you already know what I'm about to say. These turkey wings don't look seasoned enough to me so I'm just going to add a little bit more seasoning and stop playing. Now that these turkey wings are seasoned to my satisfaction we're going to move on to the next step of placing these turkey wings into the crock pot. Moving on. Guys, I failed to mention that you can marinate these turkey wings in tips from 30 minutes to overnight. This is another crock pot meal that you can prep the night before. Moving on. I have my preheated crock pot where I'm going to be adding the seasoned turkey wings to. I have the following settings on the crock pot. It is on high for five hours. Once I add the turkey wings and tips, I will then add the vegetable seasoning blend, a little bit of oil, a little bit of more seasoning to the veggie blend. Then I will add a piece of foil, which is optional, to the top of the turkey wings and tips, add the crock pot top, click it on, and all of the prep work so far is done. Let's go. These turkey wings and turkey tips have been cooking for 5 hours and 15 minutes. I added an additional hour due to the size of these turkey wings. They were humongous. Remember guys, you have to adjust your time. If you have smaller turkey wings, you would probably use less time. But since I had larger turkey wings, I just added an additional hour. Once I checked the tenderness, we would then move on to the next step of making the gravy.
Okay, these turkey wings are tender. Let's move on. For the gravy, I have carefully poured out the turkey drippings from the crock pot into a medium pot. The pot is on medium low heat. To the pot, I will add the two packages of the chicken gravy mix, a little bit of butter, and if needed, some water. I'm gonna stir until well combined and allow the gravy to thicken a little on the stove. Let's go. Once the gravy comes up to a slow boil, I will then remove it from the heat, turn the heat off, and pour the gravy back on top of the turkey wings and turkey tips. The gravy is now at a slow boil. What I've done, guys, is that I had, my gravy was just a little too thin for my liking, so what I did was I took a bowl, added two to three teaspoons of cornstarch, added some ice water from the refrigerator, mixed until it was liquid, then added it to the gravy. I like my gravy to be on the thicker side like this guys. If you like your gravy to be thin, that's fine, but I prefer a thicker gravy. So now that this gravy has come to a low boil, I am now going to turn off the heat, remove the gravy from the heat, and then pour it on top of the turkey wings and tips, cooked for an additional 15 to 20 minutes, and the turkey wings will be done. Now I am going to pour the gravy over the turkey wings and tips. Then I'm going to place the cover back on the crock pot, cook for an additional 15 to 20 minutes, and the turkey wings will be done. Guys, if your gravy ever comes out lumpy, all you have to do is get a fine strainer and a bowl, pour the gravy through the strainer, and continue on with your cooking. Let's go. And here you have it, the easy, beginner-friendly, step-by-step, crock-pot, smothered, turkey wings and turkey tips. Guys, once you've made this recipe once or twice, the preparation will definitely go by quickly. Serve these turkey wings with some rice or mashed potatoes, or even some butter noodles. But make sure to have some cornbread or some type of biscuit to sop up all of this good gravy. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. You are truly and greatly appreciated. Like, subscribe, and share this video so that you can get a notification when I post new recipes. Also guys, I have a Before Payday Meals channel where all that's on that channel are the recipes that I share with you. So you know what I'm about to say. You know what time it is. Give this recipe a try 
and stop playing. And until next time, bye guys.